Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I haven't done this in ages. Feeling all a bit out of, yeah, out of sync. Um, anyway, so I've been away in South Africa for work and I'm now back. As you can tell it's work, there's no tan. Um, but what I did manage to do for pleasure um, was on the way out do a tiny bit of shopping in Heathrow Terminal 3. Now, I've had a particular item on my mind, actually from before I started my new job in commuting, so I really wanted to get a Louis Vuitton backpack, and I didn't because I thought, well, how much of a backpack person am I? So I got a Longchamp one that I've been using like almost daily, I'm thinking, you know what, the whole backpack thing is tried and tested. I then went into the Louis Vuitton in London City and... Luckily for me, they had in there the Palm Springs backpack in both MM and PM, and I was able to compare the sizes. I already knew from my essay at Harrods that I thought it was the MM that I wanted, and also from just accosting a member of the general public going across London Bridge, that it was the MM that I wanted, but it was nice to have that complete comparison. The PM is a lovely bag, but you can't, it wasn't for my needs. So. I then went to the Terminal 3 and I didn't ring up in advance or anything, I thought, you know what, let's just see. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. They had one. So, excuse that, it's a, that's a shampoo stain from a little suitcase cosmetic bag accident that happened. But, not too bad luckily. But anyway, I'll turn it around. So, they had one left. Now, this isn't really an unboxing because I haven't got a box. I'll explain that as we go through. So, let's just do an, un an unbagging. We'll do an unbagging. So, here we have. I'm just going to get straight into it and then I'll bleh, waffle on afterwards. So, here is the lovely dust bag with the gorgeous blue ribbon. we pull out. Here we have, that's that. here we have, it's slightly bent, uh, this is, to re-emphasize, the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack in the MM size, so the biggest one. They do MM, PM and the Mini. If you look online they also do a, like a, I think it's in the Mini and they do a reverse monogram one, but I mean good luck getting that. Anyway, this was the size that I wanted because I wanted a functional, practical, day-to-day -day bag for fitting stuff in. I can also use this, I believe, as an overnight bag as well, which is nice. So what I'll do in this video is, I'll carry on with the unboxing bits and waffle on a bit. I'll show you the key features of the bag, and then I'm gonna do very quick, not an in-depth comparison or review or anything, but a very sort of quick look comparing this with the Longchamp backpack, which I also have. Um, and then I'll do some mod shots at the end so you can see what it looks like on me in case you're wondering about sizing and what does it look like or even if you've just seen them around and go, well what one is that, is that the MM or is it the PM because I think that's the one I want. So I'll do all that and we'll see how we go. A few minutes already, right, so in the bag, I'll show you the bag in a second but you see most of it. Also, we had the, like I say, bought it duty free, so because I was flying to South Africa outside the EU, it meant I did actually get the duty free price. So in the UK, you can only get the duty free price at brands like Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, um, if you're flying outside of the EU, just to let you know. If you're flying anywhere, even if you're just doing domestic, then like Gucci will give you a discount and they're super helpful in there as well. So, anyway. I was taking advantage of the fact that I was for once flying outside of the EU. So, you get all the traditional receipt box, um, receipt envelope. There's the card for my SA. And now this leaflet was actually inside the bag, but I popped it in here just so I didn't lose it because this is going to be a day to day bag. I mean, obviously, I've got the dust bag with it, it's barely going to be in its dust bag. Now, the reason this was an unbagging and not an unboxing because I was flying to Johannesburg, it's not the necessarily the safest of places if you look exactly like a tourist and stand out and for me walking outside of the airport with a great big bloody Louis Vuitton um, shopping bag was not the kind of attention I wanted to draw to myself so 
I didn't get the box. Once I got my suitcase, which I put in hold, once I got that, I put the backpack in its dust bag in the main case because I had space. I didn't take that much stuff with me for a week and managed to fold the carrier bag down and just place that in as well. So it meant that when I left the airport, I just had my suitcase and my Primark handbag, which is my Johannesburg handbag. Again, I just don't want to be taking designer stuff out there. So anyway, so because of that, I can still get the box. She was really helpful. I mean, I was a while in Louis Vuitton. I mean, that the Clapton backpack that I like, there's all manner of stuff. It was really, and the Marcel associate was so lovely in there. We got on really well. Um, I'm hoping she subscribed, we'll see. Um, but anyway, what she did do for me was on the receipt here, she put up a little note at the bottom um, just to say, to Johannesburg and um, please provide box. So basically what I can do then is go into my local London Louis Vuitton with this receipt and still get the box should I so wish. I'm sure some of them will do that or not. I mean it's nice to have the box but because I never buy bags to resell I'm not worried from that perspective and because it's going to be used so much I'm not going to be packing it away in its box it's just going to be stored with my other bags in you know in, in the cover with the dust bag. So anyway, Really nice offer though, so I've got that option, which is nice. So I'll, I'll see, I may, I may do that. So that was that. Right. Onto the bag. So I'll run through the key features, and then I'll tell you the measurements as well, and then I'll show you a couple of bits that fit inside. Obviously I'm not going to fill it completely, um, but we'll go through that. So, first things first. Not loads of sections, but what you have got are these... You've got a nice padded handle here, it's just in black leather. And what I really like as well is that's going to go well with my pochette matisse. So if I want to have this with loads of stuff on, I've got the reverse pochette matisse. That's also got the black leather, so that'll go in really well with the monogram. Anyway, then you've got these two zips here. Now these are slightly stiff, I will say that, but I was assured they will loosen. So I think that's quite common that they are stiff. I've heard that, but I rest assured they will loosen. So that then opens to one big section. Now whilst I'm on the topic, one of the criticisms I've heard about the PM is that this opening is too small because of the style of the bag. I think, again, a bit like a speedy 25 or 30, you go for the larger size, you've, it's that much easier. So, not a problem for me with this MM size. That's how the bag opens. And you can see there, there is a little slip pocket. Now, I'll probably fit an iPad in there. Um, you know what? Hold on. I'll get an, I'll, I'll get an iPad and we'll see. Right. I have an iPad. Let's see. Let's just... Yeah, so you can see, I'm trying to show you there. You can see that the iPad has got in that pocket fairly well. So that keeps it nice and sturdy in there and this is just the this is an old iPad Air 2 so it's your your standard iPad size if you like it's not one of the new pros or anything like that I have got my own one of those but it isn't so this is your standard iPad size regular iPad so that fits in quite nicely there so yes yeah, so on the inside that's it that's all I've got to talk about features wise it's one big hole with that slip pocket and then it's got a little bit of branding here where let's just see where it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy so that's that and the insides if I show you on the flap it's a bit easier it's sort of like a it's almost a coated quite tough cotton slightly ribbed so that's the material, so that feels quite sturdy. And then on the outside you've got a little zip pocket here. Which I'm just, so it's awkward doing this. <laughs> Undo that. And you've got a little slip pocket there for things. And that is just lined with the canvas on the back and then this same cotton interior here. And then you've got, again, a bit of branding now, a little black leather tab saying Louis Vuitton Paris. 
You do also have this tab bit here on the bottom. I'm not sure what you do with that. Maybe you'd like if you had like a waterproof jacket, you could slip it through, or you could hook something on there. Don't know. We'll see if it comes handy or not. If not, well, it doesn't really matter. And then you've got on the back. You can see you've got some stitching here, and this back bit is actually slightly padded. And then we've got the two black leather straps here, which again are nicely padded. I'll show you the side view so you can see. See, nice and squidgy, so that's comfortable. And these are adjustable as well. Now I will say, not that easy to adjust, but you know, it's, it's perfectly doable. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, I think 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so you've got 10 different holes on each of the straps here. Um, as you can see, that was the slightly more worn. That's the one that they had it on. It's just this little popper. So just a case of sliding that up, unpopping that, positioning it, and then re-popping it in. And that is it. Done. Um, now I've got it on the fourth hole. And I'll show you when I try it on. I don't like rucksacks too loose and baggy, particularly as I'm normally running for the train in the morning, so I don't want too much movement. So there's plenty of scope there to have it larger. I've also allowed a bit for, um, for wearing a sort of padded coat or jacket as well. So that's it. I will quickly tell you the measurements and then I'll show you what fits in and show you. And it's not a fit what fits in in terms of how much can we get in, but just typically what I want to put in it so you can kind of see the size. And what I'm, I say replacing, I'll still use my long shot backpack, it's been a godsend. But sometimes I just wanted something a little bit bigger. Always have my eye on getting a Louis Vuitton one because I do love Louis Vuitton and I do love the monogram. I, I love all their prints to be fair. Anyway, so the, oh, message, a message from the bestie Lorna, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Sorry Lorna. Um, let's have a look. So, the measurements of the bag are, I'm going to give it to you in inches because that's what's on the website, but I wanted to give it to you exact without me faffing about with a blooming um, tape measure like usual. So it's 11.8 by 16.9 by 6.6 .6 inches, so it's length, height, width. So that, that's the dimensions. Um, and what it says about this as well, in case anyone was interested, is a standout from Cruise 2016. The chic functional backpack is ideal for urban nomads. It combines a sporty shape with, a, with distinctive house detailing. Loose soft monogram canvas is enhanced with refined touches like casting trim and engraved zip, full, zip pulls. Maybe I should have shown you that. Um, so that's what it says about it on the website. Um, Yes, the zip pulls are engraved just with the logo there. So there you can see the zip pulls with the logo. And they all have that there, all three zip pulls are the same. So I wanted this mainly for laptop and shoes. Now my long shot one had done really well. But sometimes it, I couldn't quite get what I needed to in it. So this, here we have, this is my work laptop. So this is like a 13 inch ish size laptop. So it's not a big 15 inch, but it's pretty standard. You can see that size. So I'm not gonna try and even, I'm not gonna try and use the slip pocket for that. I'm just gonna pop it in. Now, not a lot of them because this is curved at the top. You have to be mindful of that. But again, it will loosen. It said on the description I read out, it said about it being nice, loose, floppy canvas. It really is. Um, it actually feels really nice quality. So I'll show you there. That is the laptop in. So it goes in, but just. There's not a lot of room. So if you've got a bigger laptop, it's not going to go. The other thing that I want to put in here would be my. Notebook, I tend to use a small A5 notebook for work. Um, it's just what I rather, so I'm going to pop that in. And we're just going to pop that in easily, like so. And then the other key thing that I would have with me 
be a pair of heels because I'll commute in my, my Nike ID trainers and then I will put on a pair of heels and typically I just grab these ones. These are a typical heel that I will use for work. So a 10 centimetre heel. These are the Manolo Blahnik BB in the grey. And I always take my shoes in the dust bag. So I'm going to pop the shoe in the dust bag. Pop the other one in the other way around. And just pull the tab so you've got the shoes. We'll try that again because obviously I can't tell what the upside down of a shoe. Right, let's try again. Right, so they have got shoes and you know taking up as least room as possible in their in their dust bag there. So pop those in. So they've gone in and you can see that the width of the bag is fairly full, it's not too full. And then you've got the notepad, the laptop and a pair of shoes and there's still quite a bit of room up the top for a bit more. Now I'm not going to put anything else in, in this bit right now but ordinarily what I would also want to pick up what I would also want to put in there would be my lunch. I can take a packed lunch to work every day as well. So there's plenty of room for that or some other items should you so wish. It feels fairly heavy, but like I say, the bag itself is light, it's laptops are heavy. The other thing, and I got very excited by this, so when I bought the bag, I was looking at this little front pocket and trying to work out but what could I get in there? Could I get my umbrella in there. So I have, obviously England, take an umbrella everywhere with me pretty much. So I've got this sort of like miniature totes umbrella. But just to get the worst of me, should it be hammering down, it's fine. This, I'm trying to show you. Oopsies. This does actually fit in that front pocket easily, as you say, even I can do it balancing. That goes in easily and then we can Zip it up. So there you go. That is everything in there, and yeah, you can see how much room is left there. Should you want to put more, puff it out because I don't like things to be squidgy. <laughs> so that's that. What I was replacing it with was this really light foldable long jump backpack. And at the time I bought it, I was wishing that it was a tiny bit bigger, just a little bit, but really like the functionality, the look of it, how portable and handy and versatile it is. And I have used this a lot, I really have, and it's worn really well on the folds there. I'm just gonna show you a quick size comparison. For anyone that's been doing the same as me as well, thinking about getting, you know, splashing out and getting the expensive one. Oh, okay, on that note, so, recommended retail price in the UK is £1,540. I also got it less than that because I got it in Heathrow Duty Free. I forget what I paid now. I paid. I'll tell you exactly, so if anyone's doing that same trick, they can find out. I paid £1,283.33. So a decent, a decent saving, um, which is nice to do. Like I said, I was going to get this anyway, so it was just nice to be able to get it duty free than not. So if I hold them up, you can see there. Oh, <laughs> wheelie chairs do have their uses. So you can see there, there is a significant size difference, and the width, and the width. Now it is amazing how much I've got in this before. I've even used this as an overnight bag, believe it or not obviously without shoes in, but you know, I've done a change of clothes, underwear, cosmetics, toiletries, easily in this. It's, it's pretty good and I can travel light, believe it or not. So that's that. Also got a little, um, a small slip pocket at the front there, so it's quite handy. But I'm going to transfer these items into here just so you can see the difference, because we've got quite a bit of room in here. We will start with the laptop 
and I was actually surprised that this even took a laptop, but it does. So laptop is in. And you can see that goes in like that. Then I put the notepad in last time. So we'll just pop that in as well. And you can see there's a lot less, it's the width that does this, there's a lot less, less width. So then putting in my shoes is a lot more difficult. I just take the notepad out, then go in with the shoes. As you can see there, they go in and then notepad. I might be able to just actually shove it in then behind the laptop. So that's in there. And then we'll try with the umbrella as well. So we'll put the umbrella just in this bit and then zip it up. That's the other thing with this. As much as I love this backpack, I really do. And once, it, once it's on, it's good. But sometimes the actual shape of the zip is a little bit difficult to do up. And you can see, once you've got it going, it's good, but it's doing that first initial zip. Now it's quite full. There we go. It's done up, and I would like to use the popper because that thing's done properly. And there it is. But other than the odd, like, one or two cereal bars, we're not getting any lunch in that. That is full. And like I say, most of it is just because it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. So there is some leeway there, and maybe you could pack it a bit better. But that is really much whereas the other one was much easier. So, that's it for now. What I'm going to do is I will insert some mod shots so you can see me just wearing it on my back and see the size of it. And um, I think that's everything covered that I was going to. So, here's the bag just hooked on one shoulder if you just want to chuck it on quickly and casually. And then with, which I think works with both shoulder straps on. You can see there how the straps go, and they're nice and padded. And then there it is on my back. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. And closer. So it's hard to see if you can see because it's on my back. But yeah, and there it is closer, so you can see the size. Um, and for reference, I am five foot three and a tinsy bit, and I'd say probably a UK size four to six. So that's what it looks like on me. Ta da! Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, and if anyone's got any questions, then please do let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Obviously I've not used the bag yet, um, it, as this was an unbagging, um, but I will do, and if anyone's got any questions, do let me know and I'll give you an update. I'm gonna be using this Tuesday onwards, so it's, it's not gonna be long, and I'll also try out as an overnight bag as well. So that's it for me for now, and I will see you hopefully soon. Bye.